another day and more building so welcome to I guess this is probably part three of the kitchen build so I moved on to start trying to do a bit of the plumbing and I got the waste pipe hole drilled through the bottom of the fan and I fitted the waste pipe onto the bottom of the sink I have put here a loop in the pipe because in your home sink you always have a u-bend to stop any smells coming up from the drain in my last camper van I just had a pipe going straight to the water tank which sometimes would be a bit pongy so I figured if I do a little loop in the pipe and fix it with a cable tie then that would act a bit like a u-bend i don't know what you think um put your comments regarding this in the bottom for me and we'll see because if not i can always undo the jubilee clip there cut the loop out and fix it directly on what are your thoughts I've drilled a hole through the bottom of the van which goes out just here. I did that yesterday and then I painted all the exposed metal with some straight to rust paint. I also went around and did all the little nails that were sticking through, nails, screws, from when I was putting the floor battens down underneath the, the main floor. So. That was all good, got paint on my forehead. Um, so I'm gonna thread the waste pipe through the hole in the floor. And then at the minute, I am just gonna cable tie it onto the chassis of the vehicle because I haven't ordered a waste water tank yet. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna get, but I don't really wanna spend like, 80 100 quid on a wastewater tank so i might just get like a normal sort of caravan wastewater tank because you can get them for about 20 quid because i don't need a big one because i don't want to be carrying lots of wastewater around um, and i might customize that to make that work with a tap to let the wastewater out when it's fallen and overflow so i hear it trickling if it's full but Next job is to feed this hello down the hole and pull it all out at the bottom. Okay, so before we carry on, let's deal with the elephant in the room. Yes, there's something different about me. I cut my head yesterday, can you see it? But right, now we've got that dealt with. And my fresh water pipe was delivered. So I can carry on with that. Um, I need to slightly, let's turn you around. So I need to dismantle this a little bit, not too much. I just have to take this trim off and undo a screw here then I can take this support leg out and then I can pull this out because on here it's got a couple of inlet outlets it's got like the one I think it takes a 38 mil pipe and the other one is like a smaller normal kind of host pipe size this end I'm gonna have the larger pipe I'm gonna have might sound a bit crazy but I'm gonna have a piece of the large pipe coming out and going round into the cupboard. And then through that pipe will be a normal standard drinking water hose. Some of this stuff, which will have the submersible pump fitted to the end of it and the cable. So that will get threaded up through the larger pipe from this end then this end where there is also a, a large and a small outlet inlet I'm going to use that for my clean water 
fill pipe and also an overflow pipe which cunningly goes through the back of this cupboard then tucks down behind the wood and comes out uh, near the bottom of the sliding door so when I'm filling it I will know it is full because it will overflow and sort of run onto the ground. The water inlet pipe is going to be, I'm going to get like the ones that you put on the outside of a van but I'm going to fix it to the end of this wooden cupboard here um, and the pipe will go through the top of here which is okay because I've probably got about three inches clearance in the top where the toilet slides in and out so the pipe will just be able to go across through the top there and I might even make an extra little shelfy bit I see how I feel so that's what I'm gonna be doing with the water yes I have a dark beard I was bored it's locked down so I thought you know what I might get some just for men and dye my beard so I did. There is a separate video which you can watch of me doing this because it's quite amusing. Other people have said so as well, not just me. Um, but I'll put a card somewhere up, I think it's here. If you press that little card you can go through and watch that video. So before I go much further, I am installing a 70 litre Fiamma freshwater tank. Let me show you what it comes with. It comes with an instruction booklet. It comes with these four kind of bolty clampy things that you can put through um, here to clamp it down. I'm not going to use those because I've put a wooden frame in the floor to clamp it with. But So it comes with four of those comes with the big red screw on cap and a rubber seal to go in there so that is available for cleaning it's got these four holes um, two of the larger ones which take a 38 mil pipe and the smaller ones which take like a normal hose it also has a few of these little like spout I guess it is um, and you can't really see them very well there let me stand out of the way because so there's this little spouty thing and then there's one like this and then there is another piece and another piece and another rubber sort of sealy ring thing I'm not using any of that because I have got my whale submersible pump and that will be inside and I will feed it out one of these holes, the cable and the pipe and that will be inside the larger pipe as I mentioned before. I shall crack on. <laughs> holes drilled out. I have with a filey raspy whatever you call it thing cleaned all the bits out of the holes then on the drive I have rinsed out the inside to make sure I've got all the little bits of blue plastic that were lying around. Next I've got my pump out I've had a little read through the instructions and it doesn't say that you need to have any kind of clip to hold it on which is good because I didn't really want to put a metal clip submersed in the water so you don't need one which is good although this is a bit hard to get on here so I thought do you know what I'll see if I've still got a hairdryer I know and I found my hairdryer, which must be 30 years old, and it still works. That's 
nice and malleable. That was so easy, just by warming it up. I could have put it into boiling water as well, but it's easier to use a hairdryer because then it doesn't get wet. Um, so this, let me grab me other pipe. Look at it, it's like a python. So this is my 38ml food grade hose and this I will feed the cable and the pipe through a piece of this, that looks so wrong, um, which will be fixed onto the water tank like so. But on one end, one side of it, I'm probably only going to need maybe, I don't know. Well, I'll work it out because as long as it's higher than the overflow, that means that the water will overflow through the overflow and not through this pipe into the cupboard, which won't be a good thing. I've done the plumbing for my water tank, so here you see is the tank and I've got it strapped down with a nice rainbow strap. Um, here is the water outlet and the submersible pump goes uh, into the tank with the cable there through a large pipe. I've left this, I've not drilled this little one out because I didn't need it because this is also acting as, um, I don't know what you call it, but where you can get air into the tank so that it doesn't get a vacuum when it's extracting water. And then this side, this side I have my water inlet pipe, which we're filling up. Um, and at the minute, I've just got it temporarily fixed here to see if I'm going to have any water leak out of just here. I need to fill it right up. So this, this is my overflow. And this goes through there. Let me go around the back of that. And then down there. And there's a little hole between the edge of the floor and the timber, and if I come round here, the pipe comes out just there, so that should overflow when the tank is full. The trickling noise has reduced, which makes me think that the overflow may get some use in a second. Fingers crossed. That's the only place water comes out of. Yay! So that means the tank is full. Now, I need to check that that is the only place water's coming out and not anywhere around here or under here, um, or even at this end. Although it is creeping up that pipe, so I'm going to turn it off. Oh, yeah, because look, it's coming out quite fast now. 
I need a wee. So now, this should go back down again. Well, that all appears to be going to plan. I'm going to have a very close check around all those joints to make sure that there's no water dribbling. But hopefully, that's all good. But I might have a little tap dance first. I have wired the pump in, I have fitted the recommended 5 amp fuse, I have got the plumbing all fitted through now from the water outlet in the tank right round to the water inlet for the tap. I filled the water up in the tank, now I just need to see if it's going to work. Moment of truth. I'm probably going to get this covered because it'd be full of air. Is it working? No, it's not in the water. Yay, I need more water. It works, I have running water, I have drainage. How exciting is that? I'm gonna leave it there for this video because I'm aware it's got quite long. I was gonna try and do the gas as well on this video. However, I'll leave that to a different video. Very pleased, got my water working. Only bit I need to do left of the water is to fit the inlet cap and nozzly whatever you call it um, onto the side of the cupboard over there but other than that my water is up and yay running hope you've enjoyed this video hope it's been helpful it would be really great if you could leave a comment and a like or a dislike hopefully a like I'm very grateful for you watching my videos. I do enjoy making them, hope you enjoy watching them. But what would really help my channel to grow would be if you could subscribe to my channel and press the little notification bell. There will be a button to subscribe, if you would, just here. <laughs>